Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done 
and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive your guidance, those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria settling them in Hala at the Habor, a river of Gozan, and the cities of the Medes. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against the Lord, their God, who had brought them up from the land of Egypt, from under the domination of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and because they venerated other gods. They followed the rights of the nations, whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel and the kings of Israel, whom they set up. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, Give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoined on your fathers, and which I sent you by my servants, the prophets. They did not listen, but they were as stiff-necked as their fathers, who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes, the covenant which he had made with their fathers, and the warnings which had, he had given them, Till in his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O oh God, you have rejected us and broken our defenses. You have been angry. Rally us. Help us with your right hand, O oh Lord, and answer us. You have rocked the country and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us a stupefying wine. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Have not you, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with, your, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of men. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Please all stand. God is living and effective, 
able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so you will be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter on your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam on your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Let me remove that splinter from your eye, while that wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Sabi ho ng mga social scientist, ang gossip or chismis ay isang means para magkaroon ng social band ang mga tao. At hindi lingid sa kalaman natin na madalas ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung mga public figures and second to that ay yung mga TV personalities o sa entertainment business. No? Pero hindi lingid sa kalaman no? natin no? na ang sunod doon, actually, ang tampulan ng chismis ay sa kumbento rin, sa simbahan. Pag nagpunta kayo ng parokya, ang daming chismis doon. Pag, pag nagpunta kayo ng mga kumbento, ang dami din. To the point na even centuries ago, during the time of Augustine, napansin na ito na ginagawa ng kanyang mga followers. Na tuwing nagkikita-kita sila, tuwing nag-uusap-usap sila, lalong-lalo na sa komedor, no? narinig niya na pinag-uusapan ng ibang prile, especially yung mga wala. Sa galit niya, no? o sa kanyang admonition sa kanyang mga followers, no? naglagay siya ng napakalaking reminder sa bawat komedor that reads, Let those who love speaking ill of those who are absent is not worthy of our table. Naway malaman ng mga mahihilig, manlibak na mga wala dito, hindi sila worthy na makakain dito sa mesang ito. Kahit noon pa man, ganun na ganun ang nangyayari. Ginagawang ulam ang wala. At usually, ang pinakatema doon ay judgment, libak. Lahat ko tayo doon ay guilty. Why am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? This is exactly what Jesus is telling us in our gospel today. Judging others, pupuntuhin ang mali ng iba, At huhusgahan sila. This is the very behavior we all have. At ita ito perhaps sa pinakamalubhang sakit, ang pabiging mapaghusga. And so we ask ourselves, no, why do you often judge other people? Ito ba'y isang sakit? 
And how is it that when Jesus was around, no, he was able to rise above that human tendency? Hindi siya nang uhusga. Ano bang meron kay Jesus? At papano natin gagawin o susundin ang paalala niya ngayon? Especially sa Ibanghelyo ngayon. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was able to forgive even His most cruel enemies because of how He looked at them. His eyes knew only to see the goodness in other people, even those who did Him wrong. The love in the heart of Jesus colors everything that He sees. And so perhaps, the answer is in how we see others. The answer lies, papaano ba natin tingnan ang ibang tao? And this is where the treasure lies. Most are judgmental because we ourselves are deep-seatedly insecure, unhappy, and empty. Pinoproject na lang natin ito sa mga bagay-bagay na nakikita natin. I cannot see the goodness in other people because I myself is incapable of seeing it first in me. Kawawa ano? Our toxicity is manifest in the way that we are talking about other people and it reflects our innermost discontentment and insecurities. And so it is true. It is much more difficult to put ourselves in the spotlight. Sige nga, ikaw nga ang pag-usapan natin. Ilagay ka nga sa spotlight at tingnan natin kung anong nasa loob mo. Most of us will not want dahil ayaw nating tingnan kung anong nasa loob natin. Jesus went as far as using a figure of speech, no? Why do you see the splinter in your brother's eye when you yourself cannot see the beam on your own eye? See? Beam ang nasa mata, hindi lang splinter. And so the saying really is true, no? It's easier to judge than to understand. Because when you understand, it really needs a lot of reflection, introspection, thinking. At ang unang-unang recipient doon ay ako, ikaw. Pero ayaw natin. Understanding requires compassion, patience, and willingness to believe that the good heart sometimes chooses poor methods. And so, through judging, we separate. Nung bahala ka dyan sa buhay mo. But when we understand, we actually grow. Sad part is, most of us doesn't want to grow. Because it entails a lot of painful experience. Going deep within ourselves. Peeling the skin of insecurities, discontentment, emptiness, and un- happy life. Kaya po kung punong-puno ng puot ang kalooban mo, wala kang makikita sa kapwa mo kundi kagustuhang maghiganti. No? Nakakita na kayo noon, huwag kunyari, no? umagang-umaga pa lang, di ba? Bakit ang araw, no? Wow, ang ganda ng sunrise. No? Tapos sa mga nega, lulubog din yan. No? Okay, ganun, no? Okay, no? Tapos, kunyari, may nakitang nagdi-date, ano? Tapos, wow, oh, ang saya-saya nila, no? They're very happy, no? If you yourself is happy, then you, you can be happy for other people. Pero ang sabi ng iba, no? Maghihiwalay din yan, no? We're all guilty of it, no? And in doing so, we are actually judging. We cannot be happy for other people. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no? For this Holy Mass, no? I think as part of our reflection, it is good to ask ourselves, no? Ano bang kapasidad ko 
na gumawa ng introspection. Yung sinasabing intrapersonal relationship, what is it? Your relationship with your self. And your relationship with yourself is a manifestation of your relationship to God. Why are, see, why are we so bothered no? by the defects of other people? No? Why are we not aware of our own weakness that we expect perfection from others? Sana ho sa misang ito, ang paanyaya ni Jesus at sana maging courageous tayo pag-usapan nga natin ang sarili mo. Pag-usapan natin, natin ang sarili mong buhay at hindi ang buhay ng iba. Let us ask Jesus to accompany us in going deep within ourselves. Magpatuloy tayo sa Kanya na tuwirin, ayusin ang ating buhay na makontento, maging masaya, iwasang manghuska at manglibak. Dahil unang-una, mahal tayo ng Diyos. At yung mga mahilig manlibak at manghusga, malamang hindi yon naka dama ng pagmamahal ng Diyos. Let our pride and self-righteousness be tempered by our act of humility and genuine love that in every feedback we give to other people, we do it not out of judgment, but out of what? Love. 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 Remember the second commandment of Jesus. Love your neighbor as you love your self. Ang mga mahilig manlibak, manghusga, na hindi makamahal sa kapwa nila, sigurado akong hindi nila mahal ang sarili nila. Ang challenge sa atin ngayon ay magpatulong kay Jesus na mahalin din ang ating sarili. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to our merciful Father that we may be generous and charitable in our opinions of others. In every prayer, we all say, Father, teach us your mercy. Father, teach us your mercy. That the church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us mercy. your mercy. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us your mercy. mercy that we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us your mercy, mercy, that the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us your, your mercy, mercy, that our dear departed relatives and friends may find peace and eternal joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us, us your mercy. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, and so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember also, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.